Welcome back to the Newbie Railroad and the big sound off contest for the F7 Locos. I've got four Locos lined up here. I'll be looking at them in a little bit. Um, let me go over some of the what's going to happen here. I, I'm going to have, I'll send out a uh, post a message on YouTube with a, a poll in it. And if you see that, you can vote for whichever one of these four is your favorite. And otherwise, if you don't see that, you can always down below here in the comments on YouTube, you can just type in which one you like best. One, two, three, or four. I'll total those up. I'll announce the winner next uh, next 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 week. Um, let me mention something else here before I get started. I've been uh, putting out one of these videos about every week uh, lately. Um, I think I'll keep trying to do that about one a week. If, um, however, there's no guarantees <laughs> that that's always going to happen because it's like you know it's like what I feel like. But for now, I think I'll keep trying to do them about once a week. Um, so okay, so the four, <clears throat> the four, uh, the four locos <clears throat> in the in the lineup. Let's take a look at all four of them here. We'll start off with uh, in the uh, Northern Pacific uh, green livery. There is a Broadway Limited uh, EMD F7A, and it is using the Paragon uh, Paragon Three sound card with uh, Rolling Thunder. Okay. In the second position, number two, bet in second, is the Athern Genesis uh, Western Pacific uh, livery, FP7 Freight. It has the uh, Tsunami 2 sound chip in it and slightly weathered uh, paint scheme. Then in the number three position is a Walters Proto EMD F7A. It's sporting the Great Northern livery. And it has Lock Sound 5 and DCC. And I'll mention something about Lock Sound 5 in a minute. And then finally, batting cleanup is another Broadway Limited. This is an EMD F7A oh, in the Northern Pacific uh, livery, the Northern Pacific Pine, Street, Pine Tree Scheme. So it's a dark green livery. And this one has the uh, Paragon 4 sound. Okay, I want to mention two things. All of these locos are as out of the box. I have changed nothing on them except with the possible with the exception. Uh, our leadoff hitter here, um, I changed the master sound volume to reduce it. Um, it was too loud and I reduced it. I haven't changed any of the others, so we'll see. Maybe I'll be changing some of them in the future. The other thing, the other thing I did on this on the the first loco is the uh, on the front coupler, the little. Uh, hose that sticks out down below was too long and it was actually the reason that I was having trouble running that loco was because that little hose attachment was catching on the uh, on the track so I went and took a uh, wire cutters and snipped that so I've done two things with that loco I've I've, uh, I've uh, snipped off part of the ten, the um, front coupler which I could always replace a coupler in the future, and maybe I will. And I've reduced the maximum sound. The other ones are as as they come out of the box. And what I've done is in uh, JMRI, I, except for this number uh, uh, three here with the with the lock sound five, I've used JMRI to program them, and I've let JMRI tell me what the function sound functions are. But I'll have to type in manually to the Lock Sound 5. Lock Sound 5, I learned, does not play well with JMRI. Um, Lock Sound 5 is a much more complex uh, way of handling uh, CVs that you can actually program inside the CVs. It's very complex. Um, JMRI, you can you can read stuff, but you, it's as it's said to say, it's, it's it's too complex for me. And that was why in a previous video when I was reviewing that uh, uh, Rapido switcher that I had, which also uses Lock Sound 5, I was having some problems with it, and in the Rapido instructions it said go look at the you know, the Lock Sound manual, and I looked at it and it was 130 pages. I was like, nah, I don't think so. So, um, so I'm gonna, for, the, for that one I'll be using, like for all these other ones, I'm gonna let JMR tell me what the sound functions are, but for that one, for that Walters Proto one, I'll uh, I'll uh, um, enter the. And I'll, I'll use what's in the uh, paperwork that came from Walters, 
and just enter the, the, in, the information, the text for the sound functions so that I know what they're doing. So the goal here I'm going to take, we'll be running these one at a time, we'll take them around the layout, uh, bring them over here in front and line them up and uh, try to get them all to the same distance from the uh, from the camera so the microphone is the same for each one and I'll run through all the basic sounds and uh, so I might mention some things about performance but um, today we're mostly judging the sound the sound quality and uh, which ones you like oh I also you know I'll, I'll, like for example on the horns and the bells I've left those as default so all of these or most of them at least if not all have uh, alternate bells and whistles <laughs> that you can um, program so that you can you can model different um, different locos and things but I've left them all as the default as they came from the factory all right so let's get started so we're going to do a startup and then um, we'll run around the track and then we'll do the, the bell and the horn and we'll try some other and then we'll do that for all, th all four and then we'll try some other sounds so start with the start with the first local number one <coughs> and We'll run down the back line at 50% speed. And remember, this is the one where I had um, reduced the master volume to about like 40%. Okay, here's number two. Number three.
52 percent. That brake squeal was it was doing that randomly apparently. Okay, number four, and I want to mention something. On uh, number three, there's no, I don't believe there was a mute button. At least it didn't show up. So, but what you, when you do the shutdown for the diesel, it mutes itself. Now, number four comes up muted and doesn't do anything until you've actually moved the locomotive forward a little bit. One and two both would, once they've got power, you know, the lights, if you've got the headlight turned on, when you give it power to the track, it, the light will come on and it'll start up. But um, number four doesn't, no. So it's not like it's better or worse, it's just a thing. Anyway, number four. Has a mute, but once once it's shut down, it it shuts down. It mutes. This one has a station sound. Yard sound. I'm not going to go through all of the sounds, but just so you're aware of what we've got here. This is for um, number one. 
So you got he headlight, bell horn, there's a coupler, a compressor. You can move the RPM up and down. Um, it has a smoke control, but there's no, it's not, not on mine. A mute button, shutdown startup, cooling fan, air release, brake set, horn for the grade crossings. So you can just push one button to do a grade crossing. Station sounds, yard sounds, maintenance sounds, radio check. So there's lots of, that's where you hear the, the voices on the radio and stuff. We've got a ton of those. Second horn, um, and you know some other you can record and play macros as well. So that's sixty. That's um, that's number two has you know, headlight, bell, horn, of course, short horn, dynamic brake. Uh, I don't know what the next couple are. There's a dimmer uh, for the lights, mute uh, mixer, straight to eight, industrial train brake, brake select, coupler, half speed, handbrake, HEP mode, fuel loading, general service, steam generator, all aboard sounds, RPM up and down. So a little bit less on uh, options on that one. Number three is the lock sound. So I had to type this in myself. But I, I, from their list, you know, they have a couple. They have the, the basic stuff. And there's like a coupler crash, dynamic brake, warning light, ditch lights, um, manual compressor, startup sound, uh, drive hold. And I put a caution label next to that because that actually freezes the throttle and does some other stuff. And I don't want to accidentally push F9. Independent brake and auxiliary light. And finally, number four. Now it came up. Um, this is the one that has the uh, Tsunami 4, and the other one that I have, Tsunami, had Tsunami 3. But um, this came up, it looks like the same, the same exact um, numbers as the, as the first one. So it's the same, I believe it's the same as uh, number 1 as far as the labels go. It's for the sounds. All right, so that's it. That's the four. Uh, you can put your votes um, down below in the comments or I will send out a, uh, a survey form if you want to just check a box and I'll come back to you next week and we'll see which one got the vote for the best sound.